we're here at Diablo Last in the basement uh, for Last of Them Presents. Um, and we are here with our headliners who are gay against you. Hello. <laughs> um, first things first, I think Fiona is going to start off the questioning. Uh, do you want to introduce yourselves first and tell us a bit about how you got together and where you've come from? We could do it separately. Um, yeah. My name's Joe, but uh, I've taken to being called Bones in public, so I'm Bones How. Nice to meet you all. My name's Lachlan, but I've taken to be calling Ice Wolf when I play for Gay Against You. So, hello, we are Gay Against You together, both of us. In con- in conjunction and yep. collaboration. Um, we got together. Should we be looking at the camera or not? <laughs> is that un- is. is that unprofessional? <laughs> uh, we got together about two years ago. A bit two and a half years ago. We were um, we've been friends for years and years. We were in high school together. Um, but we recently, well, two years and a half years ago, we moved into a flat together and we decided that we needed to have a band if we are going to yeah, be in a flat it's together. The, so. It's the punk thing to do when you move into a flat, you need a flat band. And there was only two of us, so it's yeah. a two-piece band. Yeah. Um, and for anyone who hasn't heard of you before or hasn't seen you before, what would they be expecting from a Gay Against You live show? They, they shouldn't be old mess. No, no, they shouldn't be expecting anything. I think if they were expecting something, we, we wouldn't we be, be doing. Disappointed. You wouldn't be doing our job properly. I think that's a message for life as well. Don't expect anything because you'll just be disappointed. Yeah, you but should. If you everything should work on low low returns and then low expectations. Low expectations. Yeah. Yeah. N- yeah. Nobody should have any expectations at all. Except that they'll have a good time, maybe. Oh sure. Uh, that's one stipulation, I suppose. Unless you throw peanuts at me. Yeah. <laughs> Joe gets angry if you throw peanuts at him. That happened in Tron time. Um, we were playing a gig and these people didn't like it and um, we were taking constructive criticism from them and then they started throwing peanuts at us. I well, call, at Joe. I called the guy a DH and I got the crowd to clap him a and he, he left. I'm not oh. going to say the rude word. <laughs> so, so that's Tron Time, is that in Norway? Norway yeah. So not loved in Norway. We were actually in Norway, Norway in the whole we're Every- loved and it was only like three people at the show that didn't like Everyone it. Everyone else got it. There was just some rude men in the corner who yeah. were like, You guys suck. They and were actually racist as well. Yeah, they were they were racist, like really racist guys and they yeah. hated everyone apart from them. Yeah. So but we, we sorted them out. Yeah. With music. Yeah. Very good. Music bringing people together and no, further apart. We may ostracise them with our music. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, our kind of idea of bringing you here was that um, we really wanted to get you for a Last of Them gig because you were one of the first bands to put an EP all full yeah. download That's on really Last good. FM. It's all, our, it's all our friend Tom. Yeah, we have to fault. thank our friend yeah, Tom. Well done, Tom. Tom Dissonance. Thanks, Tom. Thanks, buddy. He, he was the guy. He like had Last FM when it was called Audio Scrobbler, and he used to like he's in it like he used to just talk all the time about. Uh, audio scrubbler and how amazing it we was. We didn't get it. <laughs> yeah. So he set up the whole gay against you last FM page and convinced us to put this up on s- for free and stuff. So it's all his fault. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's his fault that you're here tonight. Yeah. Um, does only seem get, to work. Does that mean he gets a cut of our pay? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, he gets a pound of flesh. <laughs> Do you actually get paid? Have we. <laughs> we better. <laughs> Oh yes, um, this was my one inventive question. Um, if a child was brought up listening exclusively to Gay Against You material, what would they be like when they're at the age of 21? They'd be like us. An amalgamation. Well, yeah. Uh, they'd, they'd be look, like a cross between like Joe and me. Halfway between me and Lachlan. <laughs> what a horrible thought. Like Don't do it. Really, ir- really irritable, but also <laughs> very like understanding. Um, yeah, they would they would be well adjusted, well rounded individuals, and they would um, get on well with everyone, and they'd also be able to shout very loud. They might not have a very long attention span. Yes, that's true. Yeah, we have a friend called Joe who's brought his baby up listening to Doom and black metal since he was in the womb. So in twenty one years, we'll let you know how that went, and then maybe that'll yeah. draw parallels to how ours will be. I don't know. I don't know. It could be a good experiment, mm. government thing. Take a long time to work it out. Twenty one years. Surely. Why 21? Um, I was just writing my questions down on a piece of paper and it seemed like a good good age. Um, I think you're going to ask about, uh, because there's just two of you, mm. do you always get on? Um, all, the, and, all the time. And if you had a fight, who would win? Uh, we're getting on right now. Yeah. If, we, if we have a fight, um, usually, uh, I don't know. like We actually don't ever fight. Do we? I don't know what it means. <laughs> Do we ever fight? No, we don't ever no, have we don't. a fight. No, no we're, we're best of pals. Mm. 
Theoretically, though. Theoretically, Come on. Yeah. It, oh, well, we would, we would end in a stalemate because um, we would, we're both equally matched in that way. That's why we're such a good band. Because If you mean a physical fight, yeah. I'd probably lose because like, I'm a short arse and Lachlan's not. But, like, um, I'm sneaky. He is. And he Lachlan, probably... Lachlan would go with, like, kind of, like, old proper rules of fighting. With, Queensbury, like, the, Queensbury the glove, Park. And, like, <laughs> he could only punch. He couldn't go below the belt. Yeah. Whereas Joe would just stab me in the balls might, with a knife. I might bring my keys <laughs> to stab me in the <laughs> neck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would, that's what would happen, yeah. But also, like, it's kind of like a Cold War thing, you know, America and Russia. We're both <laughs> equally matched that way, so... So really, we're just yeah. Like that's right. There's there's not gonna happen because we both have atomic weapons. And also, like, like, I don't know. Like, if we fall out, it's just like there's just two of us. So it's not <laughs> yeah. like there's gonna be any kind of huge rift. It's just. Yeah. So you're like brothers. Brothers in arms. Somebody brothers asked us that once. <laughs> brothers, brothers in arms, mean? like Dire Straits. Ugh. Yeah, we're like Dire Straits. <laughs> I play my guitar just with my fingers, and Joe doesn't play guitar at all. Don't do any of this. <laughs> So is what, uh, are you George Michael and you're Andrew Ridgely, if you were Wham? Yes. <laughs> no. That's Wait, that's that's unfair. that's maybe a loaded question. That's unfair cause... though, because like <laughs> Andrew Ridgely hasn't really done anything since Wham. It's true. And, and um, George Michael keeps getting caught in toilets with other or men. Or he keeps getting caught for doing funny tobacco. And I haven't played a show for a Russian millionaire <laughs> for like a two million pounds, which George Michael has. Let's just like let's see like once our immediate career is over, you can ask yeah. us that question again, and it'll be painfully obvious who's George right. Michael and who's Andrew Ridge. Okay. Right. Well, hopefully your career won't be ending hopefully tonight. We'll both be George Michael. <laughs> yeah. Or both be Andrew. We'll both be neither. Right? Yeah. What uh, are the girls called in the group? It's not Wham. That's the were... League. Oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Don't get them mixed up. Come well, on. You could. Um, my final question, I think, was going to be: uh, You've been really prolific in the two or so years. How, like, how many, how many gigs estimate or do you have oh, you played? We've about this yes. before. The good thing about MySpace is that when you put a show up on your calendar, they keep them there, so you can like we can count you them can off. count them up. But we started not using the calendar, so yeah. we, we reckon we're about a hundred and fifteen, maybe. Yeah, and it was getting towards hundred and fifty. We did a show it was, in Leeds, and yeah. it was our hundredth show, and we celebrated by forgetting to tell the audience yeah. that it was our hundredth yeah, show. Everyone knew anyway. Oh, yeah, we can do if that. You just get on stage. Every night's a landmark. <laughs> <laughs> Every night's our birthday. <laughs> okay, great. Well, happy birthday for tonight. Actually, happy birthday to you too. Yay! Cheers. Thank you very much. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay. <laughs>